Since the revelation came nearly a month ago that a number of men were seeking to have their names removed from the passports of children who they had discovered were not theirs, the DNA debate has been the topic of many a conversation. Even members of parliament have debated it. The legislators are concerned that a rise in the demand for paternity tests could lead to families splitting and an increase in cases of domestic violence. In fact, the Deputy Speaker of Parliament, Thomas Taebwa, asked the Prime Minister to present a statement on the issue to Parliament next week. Apparently, the blame appears to lean more towards women, and questions as to whether men are saints have come up. For instance, the Equal Opportunities Commission has come out to suggest that men can actually sue wives who conceive outside the marriage. Compared to what women do, men will come and tell, tell you that you know I, I, I have this girl from another person. Or they will leave them wherever they are and take care of them. But for the women, they keep it, they keep it to themselves. Now, under our laws, you can sue for misrepresentation. But how practical is it for a man to sue as suggested by the Equal Opportunities Commission? It is difficult for every man out there to just run to court that I'm suing my wife or I'm suing my baby mama because the court will ask you what is your cause of action, what is your claim. As to what, what can a man take to court, what can a woman take to court in this DNA saga will depend on the facts. Lawyer Laston Gulume says the Divorce Act also allows a woman to sue her husband if he gets other children outside marriage, as long as the two are legally married. This law is a double-edged sword. It cuts both ways. What is good for the goose must be good for the gander. So if a, a man is saying that I can sue, or if the law gives an opportunity for a man to sue, it equally gives an opportunity for the woman to sue. That is the equality before the law. So for this case, both a man and woman can go to court over what I will call for now extramarital affairs that result in children and it is the court's discretion to find out who is wrong. Daniel Kibet, NTV.